that data mirrors what's in the actual total, right? So now I've got the averages for each of those 75, and I can compare that to the actual middle number. And you can see some of them are higher, some of them are lower. So that's kind of what we would expect. If I take an average of the averages, I come out to the 2210, which is pretty close to the 2189. And then of course we can, we can build our, our histograms. So you can start to play with the pictorial representations. Now this one is actually a histogram of the sample of data. So in, in this case, we took a histogram of this sample 75, where we took 20, 20 of them. So this is plotting out those 75 calorie counts in the buckets of from 538 to 1155 and so on and so forth. The middle point is here at 1773 to 2390. We had eight that landed in here. And again, we know the actual for the entire population is at the 2189. So that's for just one sample. And this one is just for one sample. This is 74. So in this case, we took sample 74. All of these numbers for 2020 tests. And it looks like this. Obviously, they're not going to look exactly the same because these are two different sets of 20, which were randomly selected from the entire population. And then we took another one. This is, this is number 73. So if we take each one of these samples that were randomly selected, we get different, you know, histograms. And if you take larger samples, then, then you'll get, you know, different shapes of the histogram rather than taking 20. You can take as many as you want, 100, 5,000. You, you know, you can test it out in Excel and play with larger samples and see what the adjustments to these histograms would be. And then this one is taking a histogram of the averages. So in this case, rem remember that this column is the average of all of the 75 samples of 20 that we took. And so if we take a histogram of the averages, then here's what that looks like. So, so here's from 18979 to 2039. And again, we would expect the middle point here to be at the 2189 because the, that's the actual amount, right? And so you see it's starting to look, you know, something more like that, right? And then it's, and then it's tapering off and we've got it kind of skewed to the right for this histogram. And we can see that when I take the average again, of all the averages, you know, that middle point is at 2210. So this is just another uh, tool. We do this in Excel as well, if you want to see how to do this in Excel, but you can start to play with these data sets and use your pictorial representations and get to fairly large data sets so you can get an, an idea of what happens when you're using small numbers versus larger numbers and then you can and then you can actually build your histograms and charts and whatnot based on the results and you're going to get a better intuitive feel of what is actually happening in future presentations of course we, we want we'll get into more uh specifics on how we can kind of describe some of these things uh, mathematically but it's it's quite useful to to play with this stuff in, in excel which allows you to do you know fairly large amounts of data to see what the impacts would be when you make say histograms based on those results and also it's great practice for using excel